try to go for the dresser. Nope. Water trying to weasel out of the window. Jesus Christ, Lynn! I gave this to you in the event of an emergency. Like this drill. You want me to tase Bert? Wait, what? And you don't even make an effort to protect our homestead. How am I supposed to trust you with a firearm someday? Huh? I don't want a gun. Excuse me? I don't want a gun. So you mean to tell me that your daddy works his ass off to provide all this for you, and you don't want to protect it when them sheep will come a-storming? It's ungrateful. Mm-hmm. Starting to turn into her mother. <sighs> Just becoming a bleeding hard liberal. Well, we can make up for this failure in the morning by doing fallout drills. I want boots on the ground at 7 a.m. I start school tomorrow. Okay. What time? I have to be at the bus by 7:30. Even better. So, uh, youngster, what grade are you going into, huh? Shoot, it's gotta make you what? 16 now? Friday. God damn. I'm getting old, kid. Shit, I remember when we were 16, me and the boys. Just... What's that? Jeez. Kid's going to bed. Can I crack my beer now? All right, that was good. But just remember, take this route before and after school. Stay out of sight, mm -hmm. off the main road. Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't want just anyone being able to figure out where we live. Because when the food runs out, it'll be the first ones banging at our door. Yes, okay. Hey, you got it? Lynn. Yes, Dad. Hi. Oh. Oh. Good call. The little commies in training are just as bad as their parents. Uh, I'll meet you back at the compound. Oh, uh, I didn't know whether I should give this to you or not, but withholding your mail would make me just as bad as Big Brother, so here. Hey, have a great first day. And don't let those hippie teachers hypnotize you. Let me join the league this year. He says it takes up too much time. He just needs a little convincing. Besides, it would be stupid not to let you join. Soccer can help you get into college. Yeah, college. Oh, come on, but it's your birthday. He can't not let you go out on your birthday. I don't know. He's weird like that. We know your dad is weird, but like, so is everyone's. Not everyone's dad thinks the world is ending. Right. So tell him that before it does, you want your friends to take you to the movies for your birthday. How could he have a problem? You'd be surprised. But I don't know. I, f I feel like he just wants it to be us two. Yeah, but it's your birthday. So do whatever with him and then come hang out with us after. I'll even let you pick what we see. Huh? I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, God, no. Ay, you 
You sound just like this kid I brought on site. You don't get it. I was See, just saying. Doesn't yeah. matter. They're doing away with the Second Amendment. They don't even know why they're voting against it, other than some old hippies that became professors told them to. Yeah, but. Lynn. <sighs> You're not getting it. You're missing the point. First, they take away the ability to protect yourself. Then, they make you dependent on their handouts. You think when everything goes to hell, they're gonna protect you? <laughs> Lynn. No, I guess. That's right. That's why this Friday, you and your dad are gonna finally do some target practice. Well, Dad, I was thinking I would go to the movies this Friday with Steph and May for my birthday. The movies? <laughs> I don't want you seeing any of that lefty Hollywood crap. Dad, really? Besides, you're not going to want to see some movie once you see this. Now, I know it's not your birthday yet, but if anything's going to motivate you, It's an air rifle, but we're gonna start small. And if you show me you can handle this, we'll move you right up to a 22. I just wanna to go to the movies and play soccer and do normal things. God, you know, this is the kind of ungrateful behavior that's really starting to work. Like this, you're gonna end up, and if you, Sorely mistaken, Lynn Russo! I don't know. Do you think he's into you, though? You like him? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and pre you have to sit real close to him, and you can pass the note. No, that's so cringy. Why? You can, like, write little hearts on it and, no. and, and doodle your name. Please do that. That would be so cute. Hey, you! Morning. Did you ask your dad about the movies? Um, I don't know. I don't think he gave me a ride. Bad excuse. Steph's mom is gonna drive us anyway, so it's no problem. <laughs> right, we can just pick you up at your house on the way. Yeah, I can't. Um, he doesn't like when people come around. I'll let you know though, I just, I have a lot of chores to do. I just don't understand. We've literally been to your house a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Um, <laughs> but you can just do your chores really quickly and then he has to let you go, right? I do that all the time. Hey, right, just text me when you're good and we'll grab you on the way. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs>
go? Are we picking you up later? Maybe not picking me up, but I can definitely come. I'll just walk. What? Oh no, the God. movies are all the way in town. I really don't mind. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you change your mind, just let me know. We can totally pick you up. Yeah, I will. I know things got a little heated last night, but we're here now, so. I want to go to the movies with Steph and May. I turned the compost. I stocked the pantry. I switched the rain barrels. I did all my homework. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I never said you could go out if you did all those things. Those are just things you're supposed to do. Look, we had plans already. But since you don't want to honor them, I can't let you just go off and do something else. What kind of lesson would I be teaching you, huh? I might have let you go, but since you seem to be so stubborn about this, it's not going to happen. So, come on. Come on. Why don't you just show me what you got? Hey, can your mom switch me up? No, no, it's okay. I'm at the bus stop right now. Yeah, you can meet me halfway. Okay. Okay, see you soon. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Thanks. All right, girls, have fun. And Lynn, sweetie, you know it would have been no bother for me to come get you from your house. It wasn't a problem. I appreciate that, though. All right, hon, but I mean it. You can call us any time. We miss having you over. All right, Mom, she knows. We're going to miss the previews. OK, got it. And don't forget to let me know if you're going to go somewhere after so I know when to come get you. And Lynn, happy birthday, sweetie. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Mom. Bye. <laughs> I don't like Brandon. Oh, shut up. He's funny, okay? You know what? I'm gonna text him. Oh my god, he's totally not. All he ever talks about is Roblox, plus I'm pretty sure he's a Trumpy. He's totally not. I don't know. All he wears is camo, and he's always interrupting the girls in class. Yeah, but I think he just has ADD, okay? That's like not even a full excuse, though. Hey, you okay? Mm-hmm. It 
it's okay if you're not okay. Your mom is just really nice. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. Yeah, we're your friends. It's just embarrassing. What is? I haven't seen you guys all summer. My dad. My dad is just so, it's just embarrassing. My dad is embarrassing too. It's totally normal. Yeah, remember the last time I went over, he talked to us about climate change for like <laughs> two hours. Like we know already, you don't need to mansplain it to us. We're just trying to hang out, right? I think I'm gonna get some fresh air. Do you want us to come with? No, no, it's okay. We'll be here. Movie over already? Your daddy sent me. He said, wait till she gets out of the movie and then bring her. You weren't in there for long. I almost missed you. Bring me where? Come on. I can't say. Just trust me. It's cold. Get in the car. Come on. Thank you.